My name is Ray Chambers. I teach computer science at Brook Western Academy in Corby, Northamptonshire. We've got the data and instruction split. So I particularly like to teach computer science because the subject is always changing. There's always something new. I've got a game controller here made out of bananas. I like to make my lessons interactive, but if you've got everyone up out of their seat and you're doing an activity where they have to be alert and have to be awake, they're going to get something from that uh, lesson. Let's go for you. Hand on tinfoil and then select your banana. He does it in a fun way and I think that makes a learning experience better cool. and easier. The students Marley, love his lesson. They're different, they're quirky, they're innovative, um, they're active. And so there's a real sense of fun and curiosity and laughter in his lessons. Off you go. In today's lesson, we're going to be playing Pass the Parcel with Year 12. It's just a fun way of engaging them in the topic that they've learned about previously. That was Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Name all four layers. Network, link, transport and application. He's not strict in a sense, but he'll make sure we get work done, but we'll have fun at the same time. Can you log on to your email and I will send you out the presentation that we're working on? In the year 10 lesson, we are learning about logic gates and that's got a good link in with Minecraft because you can make the circuits and they can actually visualize it. Welcome to today's lesson. So what was a At the end of the lesson, I record the lesson again using my webcam and a microphone and those resources are uploaded to YouTube so that the students can always revisit the work. Anyone know what a creeper is? The most powerful tool in your toolbox as a teacher is your student voice and listen into them and find out what makes them tick. He makes sure that we understand where he's coming from and he like knows that our point of view and he he's very understanding. And I think if you show that child that you're going to support them, more often or not, they'll respond to that. He changed my whole attitude. Because going into year 11, I was really far behind and I didn't want to do it. But by the time Mr Chambers had started teaching me, I wanted to do it. It's completely flipped around and it changed my whole school experience on, just based on this one lesson that he taught me. Put your hands up if you have an Instagram account in here. I've seen him in assemblies and how engaging he is and how he connects with the students on a level that is appropriate for them. We've come to society now of where whatever like we get, whatever somebody thinks of us, we're really taking it to heart. I think it's important to make all students aware of how to look after themselves online and how to be a good digital citizen. The last thing you look at before you go to bed is your latest update. You've got this fear of missing out because you're worried that your friend may have posted something and that can actually lead to a lot of anxiety. It's important to educate the students to know what to do in difficult situations so that they can protect themselves and protect their friends. Projects I've been involved with in, in my teaching career, I helped the BBC to write the microbit quick start guide to get more students into computer programming. We use the microbit in lessons to kind of give them a taster of programming. I managed to get a group of four students to Belgium and they got second in a Kodu Cup European programming competition. The change in them through that process, that, that was just amazing. I think that it's really important to, to give back in anything that you learn. I've been Irish dancing since I was 11 years old and I passed my teacher's qualification roughly two years ago. It's nice that he wanted to bring Irish dancing into our school. He inspires me because he spends time with you individually, helping you learn. I believe all teachers should have some recognition. Winning the National Teaching Award was a moment where, I'll be honest, I cried. I was just like, is this happening to me? And it's just made me want to support more teachers and, and pass on good practice now more than anything. He inspires me to always be a better person and always try my hardest at everything. He's amazing, he's a great friend, he's a great colleague and just someone that you want to spend time with and be around. I definitely know that I wouldn't be where I am now if he hadn't have come along. Yeah.